In this video, we will show you how to troubleshoot performance issues for an application using vFabric App Insight in just five easy steps. For this scenario, we will be monitoring a sample hotel booking application called Spring Travel. This application is hosted in our private cloud. Spring Travel is a multi-tiered Java-based application. As we can see in the topology view in App Insight, this application consists of a load balancer, two web servers, and two application servers with embedded databases. When the application has an issue, the operations team will receive an alert. Let us log in to App Insight to troubleshoot this application. Type in your username and password. Once logged in, you will see the dashboard with Travel App in an orange circle. If we look at the bottom right, we will see a notifications pane. We have a notification here telling us that the health KPI of the Travel App deteriorated to a warning state. If you move the cursor to the circle for the travel application and mouse over it, you will see an overview of all the key performance indicators. We can see from here that the issue lies in the health of the transactions. Double click on the travel application to view additional monitoring details. What we see on the top panel is a flat topology of that application. You can see the tiers, the transactions, components, and the platforms the application is running on. On the bottom half of the page is a summary tab showcasing general details that consist of a performance index, average latency, hit rate, error rate, and throughput rate. You can also see the transactions and how they are behaving. Let's zoom into the transaction list. Right away, we notice that the list hotels transaction is the culprit. On the top part of the page in the flat topology section, we can see the status of this transaction is yellow, indicating an issue. Let's drill down into this transaction. If we zoom into the transaction elements section, we will see a transaction element called hotel controller list that has a high latency. Scrolling to the right to the key metrics graph, we see an increase in average latency around 2 p.m. In the notifications pane, we see a notification around 1.59 p.m. indicating a modification to the application. This gives us a direct correlation that the update to the code caused an increase in latency. Let's now try and drill down further by looking at the samples. App Insight takes code and network samples. We see a sample for the transaction element, hotels controller list. If we look at the sample details, we can see where the problem originated. Once again, we can confirm the problem lies in the same class file. This stack trace gives us good validation of the problem. Highlighting this transaction element gives us more details. We can identify the class name, the method name, and the line number. This information is very valuable to an application developer to start troubleshooting his code. We will now try and remediate this problem. A quick solution to this issue would be to roll back to the previous version of the code until the developer can provide a fix. We will select the server the code was updated on. Click on the VM Actions arrow and select Revert to Current Snapshot. App Insight has an integration into vCenter Orchestrator that allows us to integrate with vCenter to revert to the previous snapshot. Once the snapshot is updated, we see that the application status goes back to normal. To summarize, we have resolved this issue in just five clicks. Using application mapping, we were able to identify the topology. This allowed us to drill down at the transaction level and analyze where in the code the problem existed. We were then able to remediate the problem. In short, App Insight provided an easy way to map your application identify performance issues, and remediate.